opportunities for self-doubt will be a mainstay and will crop up again and again. So in true MNF podcast fashion, let's dive into the following article from Forbes detailing their top 10 tips to overcoming self-doubt. 10 Practical Ways to Conquer Entrepreneurial Self-Doubt As an entrepreneur, you've likely encountered various risks and obstacles while juggling a myriad of responsibilities. With all these challenges, it's common for self-doubt to strike at some point in your career. However, it's important to not let those negative perceptions and fears get the best of you. Tip one, reflect on your progress so far. One thing you need to understand is that self-doubt is absolutely normal. Running a business is hard. There are lots of decisions you have to make as a leader and people rely on you every day. That's a lot of pressure. Clearly, even the most successful entrepreneurs experience this feeling from time to time, and you might be doubting yourself just because you're stressed. Whenever you lose confidence in your abilities, look critically at what you've achieved so far, reflect on your progress, and acknowledge all the people that have helped you throughout your journey. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is the person you were when you started. Tip two, view the situation objectively. Everyone has moments of self-doubt. The key is to remember that feeling insecure about something doesn't necessarily mean you've done anything wrong. If I feel doubtful, I look over the situation objectively and try to find anything I may have overlooked. Of course, it's important to do this when you feel confident as well, but the point is that your thoughts and emotions don't always reflect reality. When you experience doubt, remember it's a feeling rather than an external reality. Just be sure to confirm that you don't have a good reason to feel doubtful. If there isn't one, let things play out. It's also good to remember that even the best leaders aren't perfect. There's no point in dwelling on potential problems. Tip three, don't talk about your plans until they're in motion. If you're worried about not meeting your own expectations, refrain from telling others about your plans until things start coming into life. One of the worst feelings is hyping up your plans only for them not to turn out the way you hoped. It makes you doubt yourself even more. You can avoid this by staying low key and keeping your next moves to yourself. Regardless of how it turns out, you'll be the only one who knows and you can then choose what to do with that information. 